What is up, everybody? What a day. I uh, was not planning to do a video, but we have breaking news after literally years in legal battles. We find out today that XRP in and of itself is not a security. Uh, summary judgment has been handed down, and I'm going to run through this just real quick. Uh, you can see, obviously, quite the explosion in price action today with XRP. Gigantic shout out to people like James Filan, Jeremy Hogan, um, John Deaton, certainly. Uh, but you can see the announcements. I'm going to kind of run through this stuff here. I mean, this is, we've been talking about this for literally years at this point in time. It's pretty crazy. Um, you know, for the XRP community out there, this is a gigantic day, obviously, understanding the value and the utility of the ledger, the network, what the token or coin represents as well. Um, and it's, man, this is, I'm almost like a little bit speechless. I was, you know, I, I think that there's some aspects uh, with Ripple, obviously, that are going to be carrying on to trial, but um, XRP in and of itself, not a security. Uh, you've got Jeremy Hogan here. Wow, congratulations to you, my friends. What I see from a first read through Judge Torres ended up splitting the baby. Yes, she finds the sales in which the buyers bought XRP directly from Ripple were sales of securities. That amount is alleged to be $728 million. Um, read through here. She finds that prog uh, programmatic sales do not satisfy the third prong of Howie. No reasonable expectation of profit. Congratulations to you 75,000 XRP holders and Deaton. That's about $757 million worth. Ripple wins that. She finds that other sales were not really sales and don't meet the first prong of Howie. That's about $600 million. Ripple wins. She does not adopt the investment contracts require a contract test, although in a weird way she does. Ripple loses that. She does not allow the FND to proceed to trial. Ripple loses. As expected, the individual defendant's issues will go to trial. She does not address the secondary market sales, but... Per this order, most of the XRP out in the world does not represent a security. And so, with a fungible token, it's not logically possible that any one XRP token is inherently a security. Therefore, secondary market sales are not unlawful sales. Um, he's saying, tell me if you disagree here. Next page is last, I promise. In, conclu in conclusion, congratulations to you. Ripple will appeal probably, but it will absolutely survive. This is what I thought about the. This is what I love about the law. The judge arrived about where we thought and hoped, but she took a different route than expected. Thanks for going on this journey with me. You got bu a bunch of different news articles come out. Um, you can see Charles Hoskinson, obviously from the Cardano aspect. This is kind of the main portion within this summary judgment, which was pretty interesting. Well done, XRP. One small step for XRP Nation. One giant leap for cryptocurrencies. It says right here, XRP as a digital token is not in and of itself quote unquote a contract transaction or scheme end quote that embodies the howie requirements of an investment contract pretty ridiculous stuff here guys and again shout out to everybody that's been in the xrp community for so so long um Tom Emmer here saying the Ripple case is a monumental development in establishing that a token is separate and distinct from an investment contract that may or may not be part of. Now let me now let's make it law. Uh, crypto law here, obviously John Deaton XRP as a digital token is not in and of itself a contract transaction or scheme that embodies the Howey requirements of an investment contract. So that being said, hopefully we see some uh, some action within the XRP ledger. Um, I mean, I would imagine because right now it's basically Bitcoin in and of itself and XRP in and of itself that we have some sort of clear jurisdiction around as an actual digital asset. So outside of that, everything's kind of open for interpretation. Obviously, I'm expecting I would expect to see the SEC hand out more more aspects. But from the purview of uh, what came out today from Judge Torres, um, at least there's some clarification out there in the market at this point in time. And congratulations to all of you guys in the XRP community that have been here for so long um and you know super big shout out obviously to john deaton uh jeremy hogan james filan uh, and to all the good content um contributors out there as well crypto airy has been at this every day forever um darren moore jr i can think of you know people like kevin cage um yeah everybody so uh wow um 
I'm going to post this video. I was not planning on making one, um, but gigantic day for cryptocurrency as a whole and gigantic day for all of the XRP community members out there. Um, crazy. So I'll talk to you guys when I talk to you. Bye.